Life is a winding road. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you are new. My name is Amanda. I'm a stay-at-home mom. I live in Maryland, and I have four boys. Two of them are newborn identical twins, and then I also have a two- and four-year-old. So I posted a question over on my Instagram asking you guys what you wanted to know about my life with twins, what it's like, the 411, and I also asked on YouTube as well. So I'm gonna sit down and answer those questions now. It was kind of like a chaotic morning again. It always is when all of the kids need their breakfast and everything like that. But right now I have the twins sleeping, so fingers crossed they will stay asleep for this video. Max is playing right now. He just got done his breakfast, so he's gonna play with his Legos and cars for a little bit, or he might come in this video too. And then Mason just went to school. It's his last week of school. So any little bit of potential free time that I have as a mom is like completely gone. It's going to be summer break, but I'm actually really excited to have Mason home with us the entire summer just because school was a little chaotic getting him like to and from school with the twins and Max and everyone. And then next year he will be starting kindergarten and Max will be going to preschool. So it's going to be very bittersweet come August. So I'm going to try and soak it all in right now even though we are so sleep deprived and just constantly running around but let's jump right in and i want to answer your guys questions okay i'm sorry if it seems like i'm breezing through them it's only because i have the kiddos to tend to and obviously they come first but in intermittently i'm going to answer the questions so the first question i got is how do you tell the twins apart personally i think that their faces look a little bit different not everybody sees it but if you are around the twins long enough you will notice that they do indeed look a little bit different in their faces i mean if you were just looking quickly of course you would think they look exactly the same but like i said if you really study them hold them feed them they do look different and then also i have little ankle bracelets on them that i had made on etsy they're made of like silk and they have their little initials that i try and keep on their ankles at all times so you know if a family member is helping to care for them or whatever it may be you can always look at their ankle and know who is who and I also try and place them on like certain sides so if they have like their boppy loungers I'll always put Luke on the right and Jackson on the left also same thing in their room they have their own cribs which have their names on the top labeled and sometimes different outfits help too right now they're wearing matching outfits so if i didn't have this ankle bracelets and it wasn't like me or my husband caring for them someone might have a little bit of a difficult time picking them out but we know who is who and also i wanted to mention jackson's a little bit bigger just by a few ounces so you can tell by his face his like after he's just a little bit bigger than Luke okay next question there's also some pregnancy related questions as well and this one says has your carpal tunnel gone away I had really bad carpal tunnel with my second pregnancy and also with the twins again um, and I wear wrist braces every single night which really did help so I was glad that those things existed because they helped me sleep through the night otherwise I'd be up in like wrist pain and also during the day too like it really helps to wear them at night but the answer is yes, my carpal tunnel did go away pretty much effective immediately. Um, I could feel it while I was giving birth and I wore my wrist braces and that next day, but right after I did not need my wrist braces anymore. Same thing with the rhinitis, that ceased, thank goodness. And then also the swelling that I had started to go away around one to two weeks. I had really, really bad swelling this time. Also wanted to mention the sciatica pain went away pretty immediately. So it's incredible how your body works. All these symptoms come up during pregnancy and then your body just knows to, I guess, rid of the symptoms or the weight coming off just really helps. So the next question here that I have is, can I do a morning or a night routine video? Yes, I really want to do a morning or night routine video. Um, the only thing is right now, nothing is so consistent. So if I did a video like saying, this is my night routine or morning routine, it's not like 100% consistent yet. It's consistent with what I do around the house and what I do for the big kids. But the babies really vary right now because they don't sleep for very long at night. Um, we're lucky to get a three hour stretch, like super lucky because honestly, they'll eat and then somebody's usually up crying in between and then it's bottle time again or sometimes it's both crying it's really challenging with twins because with one baby you could feed them get them back to sleep and leave the room 
here we're feeding two babies trying to get two babies back to sleep and by the time you do all that it's almost time for the next feeding anyway so it's really a bit of a challenge but i'm hoping this summer we will get into a more strict routine as the twins get older and then i definitely plan on filming it then i love to watch routine videos the next question is really sweet it says how do i manage to get it all done any tips so in reality we don't all get everything done at all times you guys know that um, but I do try my best just to hustle and keep up with my daily tasks whatever I did pre twins is something that I strive to do every single day which is you know get the dishes done the laundry done um, the crumbs up off the floor the meals on the table um, just a little advice if you're if you're having a newborn or you have a newborn or small children um for meals i don't necessarily cook every single meal i just like to have like convenience items that are healthy so whatever you can do to alleviate something somewhere i definitely recommend whether that's you know giving your child maybe an uncrustable for lunch versus making a sandwich sometimes it just is what it is in this phase of life and also when it comes to the cleaning just keeping up with your basics like your day-to-day -day, you might not, not you might not have time to deep clean your bathroom or kitchen I certainly don't have time to do that most days um, but as long as I keep up with the basics just to make sure that the house is clean and in order that's what I try and do and just take advantage of whatever time you do have if the babies are sleeping or my number one tip is to wear the baby in a carrier if they're fussy. I could get so much done with a baby in a carrier. My only issue now, again, I have two. So the twin carrier is really difficult when they're in the newborn phase because it doesn't have like a proper like spot for their heads. It doesn't hold their heads up properly. So I have one arm holding their heads up and that leaves me with just one arm. And usually my back is really sore from that. But if you just have one baby, a single carrier is a great option to get things done throughout the day when the baby wants to be held and you feel like you're glued to the sofa or glued to your bed. Just pop them in the carrier. All four of my boys love the carrier. If they were super fussy. It just mellowed them right out right away. So definitely recommend a baby carrier. And my last like little piece of advice for that is just accept help where you can. So my husband, if I need him to do something or help with something, <laughs> um, I'll just accept the help this time. Like the first time around, I didn't really accept help as easily. What, Max? I don't know where all the monster trucks are. If they're not in the bin, then I they could be anywhere. I don't know what you guys do with them all, silly guy. There's a lot. There's a lot. Also, I hear babies stirring, so I'm going to take a little break and come back to these questions. Okay, we're in the phase of life where everybody kind of needs something, the toddlers, the babies. So I'm constantly getting pulled in a bunch of directions. Doing anything for myself is almost like obsolete right now, but I try to where I can, whether that's just getting a shower, getting myself ready, filming a YouTube video, that's my hobby. That just, you know, makes me happy. So sometimes you just have to do things that make you happy in order to be a better parent. You can't pour from an empty cup. You've heard that saying, even though we all feel like we do it most times. Um, but the next question is, do you think having twins is easier now versus if it was your first birth? Yes, I do. I think if they were my first, it would be really, really hard. Um, just because with one baby, it was really, really hard. So figuring out two. But then again, you don't know any better. So maybe if twins were first, that's just all you know. But having them as babies three and four, I do have a concept of kind of what to do. Um how to feed them, hold them, put them down, schedules, routines, things like that. So that definitely helps. Like I know what to expect a little bit more, but having twins is just like a next level challenge. Like I never had twins before, except my brother and sister are twins. So I was around twins growing up. Um, but just twins is just a whole nother ball game because you're doing double. It's literally double like feedings, diapers, you know, consoling a cranky baby. It's just double everything. So it's really really challenging I'm um, definitely not for the week I'm not like tooting my own horn here I'm just saying it is really challenging in my experience um, two babies versus one but I know obviously the older they get they'll have each other and it's gonna be amazing that they'll have like a best friend and a playmate so those days I just feel defeated and like I can't get it all done or 
you yeah. know some people have it easier than me they just have one baby and I have two I just think about the long run and how it's going to be amazing to watch them grow up together even though right now is really challenging just being real and honest of course I love them so much I love being their mom I love holding them I love all of that but I'm just being real that having twins is definitely really challenging as you hear one of them stirring so I gotta get up and go tend to them again next question is do I have any help during the day I do not have any outside help there's no mother's helper nanny house cleaner night nurse um, we don't have any services or help the only help that I do get was when my mom was coming on the weekends but she's not any longer and then my husband when he is off of work so when he's at work I just have to run the ship solo it's really um, nerve-wracking I guess I can say like my first day I was a nervous wreck but now it's just like I take it day by day every day is so different some days might be really good and just smooth flowing and other days are really crazy and chaotic and just super stressful um, but I just try and manage and get by I try and keep in my mind that it's not always going to be like this this is just a phase and now I feel like I know that a little better having two other kids like I've watched them grow up and I've seen where you know I can sit and have a meal with them or I can shower and not have to worry about somebody screaming or I can put a plate on the table and they're gonna eat from the plate and I'm not sitting there with two bottles or they're gonna use the bathroom and I'm not changing a diaper so just little things like that I really try and keep in perspective even though it's really difficult in the moment um, but yeah to answer the question I am solo unless my husband is here to help and when he is here he has you know chores he needs to get done too like he does our lawn and our landscaping and things like that so sometimes he's busy taking care of those things so even when he's here I'm with the kids so that's just kind of how it is right now we don't live near any family or anything like that so we just try our best Next up is how did we pick their names? So we have Mason and Max, those are our older two boys and we love both of those names. So coming up with two additional boy names was really challenging um, because we couldn't agree on any. I love the name Maverick um, from Top Gun. It's really a popular name right now. My husband did not like that name and he liked the name Michael and sorry if your name's Michael or you have a Michael. I didn't love that name just because it's so common even though we picked common names anyway. Um, so we couldn't agree on those names and we ended up coming up with Jackson. My husband really wanted Jackson, so I was like, you know what, you can have Jackson, that's fine. Um, and then we were thinking of a second name and I just mentioned the name Luke one day and he really liked that name and it wasn't a name that I like totally didn't like or anything like that. So I was like, okay, we can agree with Luke. And then the middle names, I forget how I came about those. Um, I think my mom had mentioned Hudson for Luke. She mentioned it as like a first name, but I ended up using it as a middle name. And Cole was just a name that I liked because I had heard a song on the radio and I looked at the screen and the singer's name was Cole. And I was like, oh, that's a really nice name. So we went with Jackson Cole and Luke Hudson. Those weren't names that we like always loved our whole lives or anything like that. We just kind of came up with them in the moment and that's how it worked out. The next question is, do we keep the babies on the same schedule? Yes, we try to. Um, reading up on twins and joining some like Facebook twin mom groups and things like that, many people recommended keeping them on the same schedule just for our sanity purposes. So when we feed one at night, we go ahead and get the other and feed them too because otherwise you'd be feeding one, you might go back to bed for 10, 15 minutes and then the other one's up crying anyways. Same thing during the day, it's just easier to keep track of how many bottles and how far apart they are just to keep them on the same schedule. Now as they get older and they're not supposed to be having bottles in the night, then they might not be on the exact same schedule but We'll see. As of right now, same schedule is much easier, especially if you are solo, you know, taking care of them just to, 
you know, have your hands free at some point because we do have the other kids. So we can't just go one bottle, then the next bottle. Now the setup is for the bottles, I have the twinsy pillow. It's like a double boppy that they sit in. And I do have these little holders for the bottles, which they aren't so great with yet. So I kind of just sit in front of the twin pillow and put both the bottles in. If one twin is done first um, and the other still has a ways to go, I will generally hold the second one and try and feed them. I do like to hold and feed them. It's just really, really hard when they are on the same schedule because you want to make sure that they're getting both fed around or at the same time and then it's usually the time that the boys need lunch or dinner or something like that so just to get it done in a half hour versus an hour is just more feasible for my family so yes we do keep the same schedule I have two more questions so the next one is what do you do if both are crying so this is something I'm still figuring out to this day, six weeks in. Um, if it's something I can do, like they're in the bouncy seats, I'll just bounce them both, um, give them both their binkies. But lately I've had to resort to using that twin carrier if it's just like total, you know, pandemonium. I'll put on the twin carrier and put them both in. And then they usually both just kind of chill out and relax and fall asleep that way. They both love to be held, which is, you know, nice to hold them but it's hard if you are by yourself and it's hard even if you have another person because you need to tend to your other kids too so you can't just sit on the sofa all day holding a baby when you have other kids my oldest does not take naps anymore my youngest i still put up for like a quiet or nap time so i have to do that obviously they want to play too i don't like to keep them in front of the tv all day it's on right now because it's kind of still like breakfast morning time i'll usually put it on then um at rest time for my oldest only and then before bed they usually watch like a 30 minute show or something like that so i don't want to keep it on all day every day so that's just kind of you know the carriers have been my go-to or going on a walk and putting them both in their car seats pending if they need a bottle or not that's another like level of thinking like getting out of the house in between the bottles and in between the big kids like breakfast lunch nap school it's like you know like a whole puzzle that I've got to figure out so we're working on it we're working on it um, and then the last question here is how do you get out of the house solo? I actually used to get asked this question a lot when it was just the two boys and now that it's the four, um, I wanted to take it upon myself to get out of the house. I knew I was gonna have to do school runs, um, but I actually accomplished going to Sam's Club with all four kids. I was stopped by multiple people who were astonished that I was just like out and about with the four kids by myself and nobody was crying. So it was truly amazing. What I did in that instance was I got the big cart and I put the two big boys up top. I put a baby in a car seat in the back and then I also um, wore a baby in the carrier. And I also again timed this in between like meals, bottles, naps all of that um, and then another thing I've been doing is going on walks with all four so what I do for that is I put the babies in the stroller and the big boys drive their power wheels together or what I did last night was I took out the wonderful wagon I put the two big boys in it I put a car seat in it with a baby and then I also wore a baby and I walked for about 40 minutes so it's just kind of thinking about the best design, how to fit everybody. I like to keep everybody close to me, especially in a store. I don't really want my big boys walking around. Not because I don't trust them, they're really good. It's because I don't trust other people. Um, other people in a parking lot, other people in the store, you just hear the horror stories. I don't want any of that to happen. I'm you know, trying to be the safest possible I can when taking all four out alone. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I've got to go do all the mom things, but it was nice. You're hungry, Max? Okay, let's get you a snack, okay? Okay. Um, so I've got to go do all the mom things. Clearly, thank you guys for sitting and chatting with me today. It was really nice to do a sit down video. I don't know how often I'll get to do sit down videos, um, but it was nice to do one today for sure. I hope I answered all your guys' questions. Feel free to leave any more questions in the comment box below and I will try and get back to you guys or I will do a part two in another video. But I'll catch you in my next one. Bye.